everyone, if you're new here, my name is Emma aka Fleurs. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back to the channel. It's lovely to have you here again. Before we start, if you could just click the like button and maybe subscribe if you're not already. Today I'm going to be doing a speed build. It's going to be an arcade speed build. So in British seaside towns, when you go to the beach and stuff, they normally have these little arcades or amusements one of the signature things of that is like the 2p machines that you put in and then they kind of like scatter and push the 2p's over the edge and sometimes there's little like toys in there and stuff so that's kind of what i what my inspiration for this area is i've kind of got this large area outside my nook's cranny and wedged next to my house and the estuary area so that's where i'm going to be doing it i've already put down the white planks because that was quite a big job so First thing first, I'm just going in with these simple panels and behind the simple panels I'm just going to put the loft desk beds just to give the idea that it is a little bit of a building. I know we don't have any windows but I did run out of custom design slots so <laughs> we're just going to have walls. Um, and then in front of that I'm going to put the stools because what I want this area to be is the section where you kind of trade in your tickets to get some prizes. So that is kind of what I'm trying to achieve here. I decided I had to go a bit further out with the loft bed simple panel design idea just because I wanted to put a third stool in. So I did forget to get the stool, but that is where it will go, kind of the opposite way to these two. And then obviously behind the stools, you can have some prizes. So I'm just gonna pop down some items from with like the hamster cage, the hula doll. I don't know why you would win a hamster cage at an amusement park, but I thought it was something a bit different and I've never really used it before. So this was a good excuse to use it. Again, as you've seen in lots of my other builds, using the typewriter as the till. I didn't like that throwback container there because it was too big. And then Pippi was getting my way, bless her. She's walking around and <laughs> mopping up the place or brushing up the place. So I moved the hula girl forward and moved the throwback container back. Just lots of different blue items just to keep in with my theme, as you guys know by now. There is a lot of blue. It was quite funny because on stream the other day we went into my nook's cranny and there was just all blue items. It's like Timmy and Tommy knew. They knew that I was just after the blue and the white. Again, if you've seen one of my previous videos, I mentioned about dropping items and tickets are one of those great things to drop just to add some decoration. So I've just popped one down in front of the stool. And then this is gonna be kind of the welcome area. So for that area, I'm gonna put in some balloons just to make it a bit fun. Just around the edge, I'm just gonna dot some stone fencing just to try and tie it in with the rest of the island. I like to break it up so it's not so kind of full and straight lines, just keeps it a bit more interesting for me. Okay, I'm back with some other items. I thought about including this climbing wall, I just thought it was a bit of fun, something for children to climb on in the amusements. Here's that stool which I forgot to get before, so I'm just going to put it like that. And just found some random items to go on top of it as well. Next to that, I'm gonna use the drink machine. I would really like the contrast of the blue with the other blues that I've got going on. Thought a nice detail in front of the balloons was some monstera plants, just to add some greenery and hide the base of the balloons a bit. And the basketball hoop was kind of an inspiration because in some of these arcades you have those little hoops where the ball comes down and then you've got to kind of shoot it back up. That's why I wanted to include that. The foosball table, that's pretty obvious. And the punching thing, 
yes I had to kit it um, again just like I'm sure they have those machines where you have to punch really hard and then it measures how hard you punch them it's just kind of trying to fit in and thinking about what items I can use other than the obvious like the pinball machine and the arcade machine just trying to think outside the box a bit The next thing that I wanted to do was create a area for Guitar Hero. I don't know if that is really a thing that they have in arcades and amusements, but I thought it would be quite a fun thing to include something a bit different. I did think about doing like a Just Dance area, like a dance machine, but I wasn't quite sure how it would look. I couldn't think of a way to make it look like a dance machine. So we stuck with this. I'm just trying to find the right place to put it. I did put it over to the right to begin with and then in with some pinball machines obviously we need to use obvious pieces of furniture as well so I've gone for three of them as they're quite a big chunk of the area you may think why have you put an electric scooter in my main thinking behind that was this sort of area is gonna attract a lot of children so you know what they'll be like just Bringing, coming in on their scooter and just leaving it around so that's why I did that I decided to move the Guitar Hero area over to the left so that I could get these arcade combat games in nicely again I've stuck with the blue and white version of these and I thought they looked better just pulled a bit away from the edge Has anyone actually found a good way to use the baby chair? I thought that this would be a good place for it, but maybe not. I went with the piano bench instead, and then I remembered that I had these blue balloons, which I'm just gonna dot around. I could have added more of the Festivale lamps, but I thought that these would be a little bit better. By Festivale lamps, I mean the blue, what, the balloon ones. Okay, it's looking great so far. Um, I think I've forgotten the guitar, so I'm just gonna grab some flowers, just start putting in the edges, just to break it up a bit. I think this side was the most important side. I'm not gonna do all the flowers and greenery and trees and stuff during this video, just because that's quite tedious and I can imagine it's not that fun to watch. never quite judge the edge of the ground properly <laughs> if I'm a I'm sure I'm not alone if you have problems like that please let me know because I just wonder sometimes is it just me that has these problems so it's nice to hear when everyone else kind of shares those frustrations <laughs> so here are those guitars that I was on about I've gone with a blue and a white rock guitar I just thought I'd leave them like that and then we've got this big space here, so we need to find something to fill it. Oh, I have another foosball table. I'm kind of limited with my colours here, because I don't want to go with too many colours just to distract things, so I quite like how the blue and the white are just fitting in together nicely. And then I forgot that I'd left these kind of stunted flowers on the beach from my previous build so I'm just gonna pick all of these up so I can put some more wooden planks down just to expand, expand out this area a bit. Ta -da! Right, I'm sorry this part will be quite boring um, but let me know, do you like to put paths on your beaches or do you just leave them plain? How do you decorate your beaches? I'm really intrigued. I thought that this would be a nice little area just to have on the beach. I'm thinking about putting like a teacup ride, maybe some food items down here as well. I don't know why I always struggle with this kind of plank design because of the edges. I always get confused with where they need to go. It's really not that hard, but 
my, my mind sometimes makes it a lot harder than it is. And then it's just time to fill it all in. The right hand side of this beach is kind of done. It's got a little mini dock with a rowboat and a little seating area. So I didn't want to expand this out too much. And also it's right in front of my house. So I didn't want like a fun fair going on directly outside my house. That might be a little bit too much. gonna grab the some more items a teacup ride is here somewhere there it is I've decided to go for this one I know it's not blue and white but the options the color options for the teacup ride was very limited I couldn't find one that was exactly what I was after for my theme so I'm just gonna have to make do with this one I am a little bit disappointed but it still looks okay if you guys have seen the variations and you think one of them might fit better, by all means leave me a comment and I can always switch it out later. So I've tried to use the snack machine here, just trying to get some kind of foody items. The popcorn machine is in blue and the candy machine is in blue, which I really like as well. Unfortunately, they don't look great with the tree there, so I'm just gonna try and find the best place to put them. And then I wanted to use these little springy toy rides because they remind me of the little kind of machines that you find outside the amusements where you just put like a pound in and they, they go round or they jump up and down or something like that. So that was my inspiration for that one. Again, just still just trying to pop in some food items and get the positioning right. That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna also add some stuff to the front of the beach here. Put some of those plants down that I picked up earlier and some custom designs as well. I still really love this shell design. I think that you can tell that it's shells without it being like obvious and brightly colored. And some seaweed. I do love that design as along with the driftwood. So if you're looking for inspiration for what custom designs to use on your beach, I can highly recommend the seaweed, the shells, and the driftwood is a great one as well. I've just got some remaining plants in my inventory. And I do just want to get some trees down just before we finish, just so that you can see what the building looks like with some trees behind. I might make like a little mini garden slash park area over here so I will come back to this area later but I'm just giving you kind of a snapshot as to how I'm gonna do my natural areas or transition areas on this island but I'm sure I'll post some pictures if not you'll see it in the final end tour of Laurel which we're kind of working through it and there are little bits here and there to do there's also some villager houses to work out so it's coming along and i hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far i definitely have quite a few beaches to do as well my beach rocks i'm struggling with so just finishing it up with some more blue and white flowers again there's nothing new here so that's it this is my complete kind of arcade just ignore the path out there I will work on that off stream as well I've said before that it's quite boring to do here is a store where you can redeem your raffle tickets and trade them in for some prizes then we've got all the game machines the ping pong the foosball the um what's it called <laughs> guitar hero the tv's turned off I realized I should have probably turned that on um but too late now and then we've got a little area outside as well like a little bit of a boardwalk with some food some of those springy rides and the teacup ride as well 
obviously it's all very blue and white that's what we're going for I mean you don't have to if you wanted to do an arcade or something similar you could do it in whatever color you like there's lots of different variations of furniture and things that would fit nicely in this area you could have also added like the table tennis and things like that that would be nice to see in this sort of area so that's pretty much the end of the video I really hope you've enjoyed it if you have anything you'd like to say let me know what you think about it does this remind you of any childhood memories from going to the seaside and visiting an arcade or an amusement whatever you call them please let me know in the comments I love hearing stuff like that like the fish and chip video I love hearing all your comments about that please remember to like the video if you've enjoyed it and if you're not already please subscribe I hope you ha all have a wonderful day whatever you're up to whatever you're doing in the world and we'll see you again soon for another video bye bye